You will need some OBD2 app if you want to diagnose and customize your vehicle with the ELM327 adapter like this. But the problem is that there are literally 100 OBD2 apps and most of them are pretty bad. I have spent last two days testing out these apps. Here are my 8 best picks. Number one is OBD connector. This app tells you where is your DLC data link connector, also called the OBD2 port. Obviously, if you want to use OBD2 scanner like this, you need to plug it in your OBD2 port. And if you don't know where that is in your vehicle, this app will tell you. So I am now in Corolla 2022. Choose vehicle Toyota. Now we have a list of models. Let's type in search Corolla. Here are the models. Unfortunately, there isn't 2022, but what I can do is select the latest model that is here, 2013 and plus. It shows you the location of OBD2 port with the arrow. You have close up photo, so I know I need to look for my OBD2 port around here. OBD2 port is in the exactly same location in my model. And before we start diagnosing our vehicle, there is ELM scan adapter validator. There are a lot of these Bluetooth adapters and they use ELM327 microcontroller. A lot of these microcontrollers are just clones and they are not made by ELM electronics. This app can tell you version of the ELM and it can also measure the adapter speed. So once you have your adapter connected, just press this button. Okay, so it did measure the speed 5ms, which is very good speed and the version is 1.4b there is a page on wikipedia which will tell you more about these versions okay now we can test out this vpig adapter which should have clone elm controller So it says it is version 1.5, such version was never made by ELM Electronics, it even says that it is 1.4 clone, so this is clone adapter, but it is very well made clone, it does support all OBD2 protocols, and it works without any trouble, and I will be using it for the rest of the video to connect with multiple apps. Okay, the next app is the Car Scanner ELM, which is the best free OBD2 app that you can download, it is for both Android and iOS, and I can promise you, you won't find anything better. And there is even pro version for only five dollars for lifetime. And I actually have this pro version, so I'm not quite sure now what is the difference between free and pro. But I know that in the free, we can connect. I know that in free version, reading default codes, live data, everything worked. The only limitation I think was you could watch only one live data graph at once. In the pro version, you can watch four different graphs at once. But the live data even in the free version they are very useful because a lot of other apps I tried either didn't have live data graphs or they would just stop working after a few seconds and you would need to buy premium version to continue watching graphs and that was only one graph. Here you can watch four graphs at once or combine these values and watch multiple datas in one graph. Other than that, you can read fault codes, and it can read fault codes from all control modules. So it is already better than code reader like this, because the reader like this will read only engine codes and engine live data, and shows only one graph at a time. So app like this can be more advanced. It does all the basic OBD2 stuff, read freeze frame, emission test, you can even do acceleration tests, you can display dashboard, like in the other OBD2 apps, these pages are fully customizable, and what is very unusual for a cheap app like this or even free app like this there is this coding and service which actually allows you to use ecu coding to make change to your vehicle i won't be doing that again i have full video where i reviewed this app i also showed the ecu coding there i code some features opening the windows from the key fob see this is the coding and you have all of these changes these are just categories when i select for example power windows here is close windows using long press on key fob so i could allow opening windows from my key and you can change a bunch of other stuff this coding won't work for every model only some models are supported but in the app that costs five dollars even without it this app is probably the best ability to app that you can download for such a cheap price and you have coding as a bonus so very good app you can either use app for free or pay five dollars buy adapter for around 17 18 dollars and you have pretty good diagnostics set up under 25 dollars okay next up it's called dtc fix you can input the trouble code that you read with your previous app so you have read this code but you don't know what part is actually faulty so you can input this code press find code 
I even selected the brand before Toyota. And now it says catalyst system efficiency below threshold, bank one. We know that because the OBD2 app will also show you that, but it won't show you possible causes. And now you have a bunch of parts which you can check. So intake air leaks, fuel injectors may be faulty, spark plugs, catalytic converter can be clogged. You have at least some tips where you can start. Okay, so that was the DTC fix. Next up is the Carista app. When I talked about car scanner app, there was this ECU coding which you can use to make change to your vehicle and unlock hidden features and that is very interesting and fun part of using these OBD2 apps so if you want to do more coding the Carista is made for that it works with the same ELM adapter we can connect but this is paid up there is a free version but the free version is pretty much useless it is worse than free car scanner app but if you buy premium version you can either buy it for one year for $50 or you can pay by month and one month is $10. What I recommend is buy the Carista only for one month. You can do all the changes you want and then just cancel the subscription because the car scanner app is better for diagnosing anyways. Carista is better only for customization. You have customizations, diagnose, service and live data. For live data, the car scanner is just better. This doesn't even show graphs and it shows way less live data. Diagnosing is the same. It it's fault codes from all units. It is just not good for diagnosing. Only good use of this app is customization. When you go to this customize option, it will load all the settings you can change. Carista doesn't work for all car brands, but you can go to the Carista website and they have a list of all supported vehicles. There is also a list of all supported car models and you can also see a list of every change that Carista can do for that model. They also sell the Carista adapter. This is the old Carista adapter that I have bought, but you don't need it. The app will work with any basic ELM adapter like VPIC. If you buy this adapter, you will get one month of Carista free, but it is still maybe 20 bucks more than the VPIC, so it doesn't really make sense. Just buy the VPIC. Every app that I have showed you so far will work either with the VPIC or with the OBD link or other ELM adapters. Okay, so now we have a list of customizations. You have all these categories and each category have own settings. For example, dings and warnings. You can disable seatbelt warnings, locking doors and alarms, bunch of settings for each category. Okay, so that is the Carista. I am sitting in the Toyota hybrid vehicle. If you also have hybrid and you want to monitor those hybrid battery data, you can check this app, Dr. Prius. I won't even bother connecting it. Just use this demo version and it will show you battery pack voltage, state of charge, max charge, bunch of information regarding the hybrid battery. There is even pro version which can do battery tests and also predict life expectancy. Okay, so that was the Dr. Prius. Prius. You can also find it by Dr. Hybrid. And now we have two more apps which are more professional. One is the OBD11. This app is made purely for Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Seat and there is also version for BMW. Could plug it in because there is also a few days ago they released the version which works for every car model but it works only as engine code reader. It doesn't even display live data, it just scan the engine codes and erase them. So for other cars it is useless but for Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Seat this little scanner is pretty much same as the tool that they have in the dealership. You can use this for all the codings, you can diagnose every control module, you can look for live data in every control module, you can perform advanced service procedures and use the VAC long coding and adaptations. This is probably most advanced Bluetooth OBD2 scanner that I have tried. I have a bunch of videos about OBD11 so I won't be rambling that much about it here, but you can check the full review and guides in the description. Okay, and the last but definitely not least is the ThinkDiac2. The the app is actually called the ThinkDiac Plus and while the OBD11 was the most advanced for Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Seat, the ThinkDiac 2 is very similar. It can do almost everything that OBD11 can for Volkswagen and Audi, but it works for every vehicle. Well, not every vehicle, but it covers more than 10,000 car models. And you have the OEM functionality like the OBD11 has for Volkswagen and Audi. You also have that here for VAG vehicles, but also for other car brands. Also, I won't be connecting it here. I think the Act 2 already has its own video on my channel. It is also in the description. Just prepare that it is not that cheap. You need to buy this adapter. It will cost you 
around 150 for the first year and from the second year you will also need to start paying subscription which is 80 dollars for one year it is expensive for bluetooth scanner but it is not expensive for what it can do this app with this adapter are basically professional scan tool in your phone think the app is made by launch and launch make those professional tablet scanners that are used in car shops and now you have their software and you can access it with cheap device like smartphone so the price can be that low definitely best obd to app best bluetooth obd to scanner but it's not for everyone not everyone needs to pay that much if you just want to read few fault codes and maybe some live data but it does really everything ecu coding service procedures it can dive into every control module read fault codes okay so that was my list of eight obd2 apps i hope it will help you and if you know better obd2 apps let me know in the comments